What is going on guys? Welcome back. In today's video, we're going to learn how to control the volume of your speakers using Python and also of individual applications. So let us get right into it. Alright, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to install two external Python packages called comtypes and pycall. Those are the two modules that we're going to use in today's video. And for that, we're going to open up the command line. And we're going to type pip install comtypes, which is a module based on C types, which is a core Python module. And pycall is the module, the main module that we're going to use today to control the volume. But the code sample um, from from the official PyCall repository uses com types to initialize the interface so that we can actually go and control the volume. So we're going to install com types here as well. Uh, it is a library that works with com interfaces and com, uh, as far as I know, actually, I wrote it down, stands for component object model, which is something Windows specific, and we needed to define or to use the handlers to activate the interfaces we're going to use here. Um, then we're also going to say pip install PyCall which is, as I said, the main module here. And once we have that, we can go ahead and say from C types, which is a core Python module, as I said, import the cast function. This is a function that type casts pointers into pointers that point to a different data type. And then we have the pointer function here as well, all in capital letters in uppercase here. Then we're going to say also from com types import. And this is now the handler, I guess, uh, CLS CTX underscore all. Um, and then also from PyCall dot pycall, we're going to import the audio uh, utilities and the I audio endpoint volume. So this is an interface. Um, and then what we do now, this is taken from the code sample from the documentation, if you want to call it that uh, we say devices equals and then we use the audio utilities to get the speakers. So we control the volume of the full speakers, we're also going to control the volume of the individual applications. Uh, later on, but now we're going to control the full master volume. So we say devices equals audio utilities dot get speakers. And then we say interface. And here we say now devices dot activate. And we pass here the I audio endpoint volume dot underscore underscore ID, uh, I ID, sorry, underscore underscore, then this little thing here, CLS CTX underscore all and then none. And then finally, in order to get the volume um, handler or interface or whatever, uh, we say cast, this is the type casting function, we're going to type cast the interface into a pointer to an I audio endpoint volume. So this is the setup, this is taken from the documentation from the code sample. And now what we can do is we can simply go ahead and say volume dot and we can adjust the volume. So right now you can see down here, on Windows, I have my volume and I have it uh, on 39 now. So let's go and put it to 50, which is exactly in the middle. And then let's go ahead and say volume dot set master volume level, and now set it to a number. Now, the number is a little bit tricky because we have a range from negative 65, as far as I know, up until zero. And with each six points, as far as I know, uh, we double or half the um, the volume. So if I go ahead and say negative 65.0 and then none. If I run this, uh, what's the problem here? I I I D. Oh, sorry, just one underscore, not two underscores. Uh, you can see now that my volume changed to zero. And if I go ahead and change this to zero, zero point zero, this is going to increase the volume to 100. So that's the range that we're operating in. If I go ahead and try to set it to one, for example, it's going to give me uh, an exception. And if I say something like negative 67, I'm also going to say uh, I'm also going to get an error here. So the range is from 65, uh, negative 65 to zero. And with each six points, we roughly double whatever we have. So if I go to something like 50, for example, here, um, we can see that this is a volume of two. And if I now say 56, actually not 56, 44, if I'm not mistaken, this should now give me four. There you go, because it doubles with each six points it doubles. So if I go now to 38, negative 38, this should give me eight. Okay, seven, roughly, roughly doubling the numbers here. This is how you set the volume of 
of the full speaker. So not of individual applications, but of all the applications of the master volume we have here uh, in the speakers, right? So I can also right click here on Windows, say open volume mixer, and then adjust the individual uh, things here. But um, all in all, this is how you do that for the speakers for all the applications here. We can also do some different things. We can say volume dot set mute. Uh, because you can see if I change this here to negative 65, this is not muting the speakers, it's just turning the volume down to zero, we don't have a muted speaker yet. Uh, whereas if I say, okay, volume set mute one, and then none, uh, you can see that we actually get the muted symbol here, we can actually see that the speakers are muted, even if we change the volume to something else before. So you can see volume muted. Uh, but we have the volume at 26, but it's still muted. So we don't have any sound. Um, we can also unmute the speaker by passing zero here instead of one. There you go. Um, and we can also change the volume not to an absolute number, but to a relative number. So we can take the current volume and decrease it or increase it. So we can do something like um, current equals volume dot get master volume level, this gets us the current volume level that we have. And now I can say volume dot set master volume level current. And then we can say times actually not times plus 6.0. And this will double the current value. So 26. And then if I go, you can see here 26, okay, 39, not exactly doubled. So maybe that's not entirely accurate. Um, but you can see it's not a linear scale. This is what I'm saying here. So this is how you do that for uh, for the full speakers. Now let's take a look at how to do that for the individual applications. So what we can do here is we can say, um, actually, I think we need to import another interface here, I simple audio volume. So let me just see if I'm blocking. No, I'm not blocking the code here. Um, that's that's good. So what we can do now is we can go ahead and say sessions, sessions are equal to audio utilities get all sessions. This basically gives us a collection of all the individual applications that have a volume running. So I can do that. And then I can go ahead and iterate over these sessions. So I can say for session in sessions. And then um, I can say that the volume is equal to the session dot underscore CTL dot query interface then I simple audio volume. And then uh, if the session dot process, so if the session is a process, and also um, the session dot process dot name equals to something, then I can do something right. So I can enter something like Firefox dot exit here. Now right now Firefox is not running. So this is not going to work. Uh, so let's actually comment this out and see what kind of processes are running. So let's say session dot process dot name. Let's see if we get a list. Um, so in this case, we okay, I think we need to check for this one here. So if session dot process. There you go. So we have OBS 64 exa, which is what I'm recording with. So you can see we have here the OBS thing. So I can actually go ahead now and say, if session dot process and session dot process dot name equals, then OBS 64 dot exa, I can go ahead and say, uh, volume dot set master volume level of this particular session. Remember, this volume object here now is the volume for that particular session that we're um, currently at. So it's not the volume that we have up here, it's a different volume now. And we set the master volume level of this particular interface here, uh, actually set master volume. Uh, we can do I think level or volume, I'm not sure I think. In this case, we can do both. Let's see if level works here. Otherwise, we're going to do uh, what we did before. Uh, otherwise, we're going to do something else. But let's see if that works. Um, okay, no, here we need to go without a level. So set master volume. And here we can actually what actually happens here is we specify the volume relative to the master volume. So let's say, um, I have 100 here. So 100 is the master volume that I have on the speakers. What I can do is I can say 0 0.5 to get exactly half of that for OBS. So 
if I right click on the volume mixer, you can see that OBS now is exactly half of what the speakers are. So if I put my speakers now to, um, to I don't know, 50, and let's say I change that also again to 50, and now I run the script again, OBS is no longer gonna be at 50 just because we passed 0 0.5 because the 0 0.5 actually means half of what the speakers are. So right click, open volume mixer, you can see we have half of what the speakers are. Um, and we can do that with all sorts of numbers. I think we can also do that with one for 100%. So for basically the same thing, the same volume as the speakers, or we can go with something like 0 0.2 and then get 20% of that. And this is how we can do that for individual applications. We can uh, change the volume of the individual applications or also of the full speaker. So of everything essentially. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.